YouTube, what is good, man? It's your boy B, and I'm not saying my intro because you're going to hear it again. Listen, for this video right here, we're going to be talking about Compass Con Day 2. And let me just let y'all know right now, I went in with a plan. I thought I knew what was going to happen the second day. I thought I had a better grip on the event. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, Complex Con ain't no bitch at all. But before we get to Complex Con day two and the pickups that I got from day two, I did want to show off some of the footage that I got from the NERD, the nerd, basically, I mean, they called it a concert. It was somewhat more of a listening party. They performed a couple of the songs. They had the dancers out that did a great job. It was crazy, but the performance from them was crazy. But I just wanted to play some of the stuff that I had from that concert. I heard the full album. The full album is fire. He did not give any release date. Just know I've heard it in full. I got a couple songs that I really like. So I'm gonna play a little bit of this footage and then we're gonna come back to me because I'm basically taking on through day two and Man, did my plan go wrong. We out here, man, ethnic right now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out MLK, shout out Morgan. You know what I'm saying? You already know, shout out my nigga Malcolm. You already know. Good evening. Welcome to the NERD listening party. No one ever really dies. giving it to you. Yeah, it's gonna be, you know, you'll be able to stream it, but you guys, everybody in here with a fucking phone right now, this is yours. This is your moment. You got it before everybody else did. So when I turn this motherfucking 1000 feature of future back on, I need everybody in this motherfucking audience right now to bounce. When you hear that pump sound, you fucking bounce! Come, let's go and make some motherfucking noise! Turn this bitch back on! Alright, so what is good everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy B Bullet RC coming to you guys again with yet another video and it is day two. We are at Compass Con and I'm letting y'all know right now the fuck shit is already going on. As you guys can see, they actually got smart this time with the undefeated line and they're in a barricade. And right now I'm about to check and see what's going on. Oh, what's good? No, 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 you good, you good. That's good, man. Nice to meet you. And right now Nike's behind me, so I'm about to see what's gonna be popping with that. I don't know if I'm gonna make it though. I'm gonna try to finesse, but it's probably not gonna work. And as you guys just saw, my first stop for the day was Nike. My first day, if you guys missed that one, go peep that one out. I thought I did a really good job on that one personally, but I did it together. And my second day, I was focused on getting the releases that I really wanted, which was the four pairs of Air Force One. So I thought in my head, 
hey, yesterday what people did was they got in line or they finessed their way in line or they did whatever and they got their pairs. Some people just stood in line over and over and over again and waited and was able to get the pairs that they wanted. So my whole plan for Sunday was go in there, get in the Nike line and literally just wait and wait and wait. And if I don't get any video content, unfortunately, that's just gonna be an unfortunate thing for me because I did want video content. But if I can get all the shoes that I wanted, I can show them to you guys personally and say, hey, I got them for retail. I didn't have to pay resale. I just had to stay in line for hours on end. So that was my plan. I went to the Nike line. They told me that the line was closed and it was just basically a big, big grouping of people in line, outside line, standing around, just trying to figure out how they could get in line and get the shoes. I went around, I asked about my press pass, tried to use the, some clout. My clout card got declined at the Nike booth. So then I went over to the line where you could create your own pair of Nikes and try to get in line for that. I waited about 45 minutes. Then they told us that there were no more slots open for that, so I literally left. And after I left, I ran over to the Frenzy booth. Be fucking with these bitches like they hypoallergenic. Women are from Venus, caught in love, playing tennis. Some girls are the LeBron James are playing mind games. Now with the Frenzy booth, there was a drop every hour and there's an app attached to it. You just had to be on the app at the hour and try to check out the fastest. Now I literally just checked today to see what they had on the Frenzy app. And as you guys can see, they are actually going to be selling the Billionaire Boys Club bed that was at ComplexCon. And as you can see, there is a countdown timer. It tells you exactly what's going on. And this is one of the global drops. So this is something that if you wanted this bed for any reason to flex up, you could download the Frenzy app and get on it. Now it's just not beds and other stuff like that. They have a couple more drops coming out. Boom, y'all see me talk about these. Boom, that new Adidas NMD is coming out on here as well. So if you are on this app and let's see, how long is this one telling me? 65 hours left on this one, but if you are the first one to get through, you will get these for 250 Canadian. Now I'm not doing the math in my head right now. Maybe I'll throw it up on the screen but you guys can kind of see what this app is all about random drops where you guys can come up on different things like a billionaire boys club bed that was at compass con now your boy personally um i have no space for this bed in uh in my house so i'm gonna go ahead and let the big ballers get in on that jump right there so if the app looks interesting to you guys because it is a brand new thing for me i will definitely be using it going forward just to see what they have up here um and maybe i can just come up on some stuff i did actually get the nerd brain lamp if you guys saw my last video so that would be shipped to me at some point but i got it off the app from what i understand it was basically an app they made to try to combat the bots it's whoever's here first if you got the app Apple Pay set up, it's just blam, blam, blam. You got it or blam, 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 you missed it. Anyways, we checked out the Frenzy booth and then next up, right behind it, there was the Bodega booth. Yo, that bodega booth was jumping that day they had the djs going and just shouts out to bodega i did cop some stuff from them as well that i will show at the end of this video but we went to bodega and then i ran around checking out some of the other booths some different places like chinatown market um i think rip and dip i don't wear rip and dip but their booth was dope so y'all can peep that real quick So as I'm walking around, as I'm shopping, I just so happened to run into the homie Jeff, part of the NBA Playmakers team, and he says, yo, you know they got Kobe and Kendrick coming on later. You want parts of that event? Do you want to get in on that? I can try to see if I can make something happen. And I'm like, of course, because at this point, my whole day has been bad, bro. I ain't got no Nikes, and I'm like, okay, maybe if I get into this Nike event, I can get some good footage, and then maybe if I stand around a little bit in the background, you know what I'm saying? Maybe if I stand around a little bit, I'll somehow be able to slide in and be like, yeah, I need, I need a size in this. Now, did that happen? No. Hey, it is my pleasure, my great pleasure. 
pleasure to bring out two amazing legends in the music and sports field. Please, everyone, give a warm welcome to Kobe Bryant and Kendrick Lamar. Yes. Don't get shy now. You guys were chanting. The scenery might just be inspiring. She said, man, everything ain't for everybody. I said, I So after Kobe and Kendrick got off the stage, I tried to finesse a pair, was not able to finesse a pair for myself. So I went over to the Adidas booth and this time it wasn't packed, it was super easy to get into and I picked up a couple things from over there. We are back and we are live inside the Adidas booth. There is finally no line in this joint, so I can finally actually get in here and buy something. I'm probably gonna buy one of the Y3 uniform tees, one of their Y3 kind of merch tees that's out here. Other than that, I don't really want the CS2s that drop, so they got a little menu, so let me go ahead and peek that out. If I can get my hands on that, I'm gonna show y'all, but just letting y'all know, the boy is currently at Adidas, checking out the Adidas booth. Unfortunately, there's a lot of cool shit in the little windows and stuff, but you know, it's sold out. Women are from Venus, caught in love, playing tennis. Some hoes out of the prime, chains are playing mind games. And switch they home, team up every single time they mind change. She drop it for me, pussy pop it for me, take it to the top. Spending extra time when she ain't got it on me. Then she turned around, said, I'm so proud. Seems like everywhere I'm hearing. So as I was leaving from there and as I was standing in the line, they were talking about this thing where they were giving away these gold coins and they were basically these bubble machines around the Compass Con Arena where you could actually get in and try to win a pair of Nerd and Indies or a shoe drop or clothing or just a pin from Adidas. Now, I asked a couple people in those brown jackets if they had any coins. They didn't, but I was at least able and shouts out to my homie at the uh, the booth uh, to get a boost ball, which was dope, which I will show a little bit later. So after that, I decided to go back to Undefeated and see if I had any better luck this time. Yeah, What's you up, in man? there, you in there, you in there, you in there. All right, y'all, so Pete, I have been here since about 11 o'clock this morning, right? I have no shoes, bro. I have no Nikes, I have no Adidas. Only thing I got is some clothes from Adidas. I gotta go to Bodega and that's gonna be the one shoe I got. I should have came to Undefeated earlier because the line was about this long when I first got here. But I really wanted to get the Travis Scott joints because they're hard in person. They definitely look way better in person. Unfortunately though, I've been here for all that time. And right now I have literally one bag. This is the second line because the Adidas line wasn't too bad. This is the second line I've been in today that didn't get shut down. I didn't get told that something was sold out. This is the first time I've been in a line and actually waited and been successful. I'm just, I'm, we're probably gonna talk about it. I'm probably gonna talk about it somehow in this video. I might like do more of a story video. I'm just letting y'all know, bro, if you're coming to Compass Con, just be prepared to wait. I feel like it's all about who gets here the earliest and who gets in line the earliest. So, I mean, you're gonna wait regardless. I mean, the line, I literally had been in the first, the front 30 people of the line, and I've been sitting in line for about 40 minutes at Undefeated just to get the bag, the shoulder bag, because they're all out of the shoes at this point. I'll probably get some socks too, just to make it worth my while, but yeah, man, uh, Converse Con, it's a whole nother beast, bro. But we're gonna talk about it. I just wanna do a quick update to you guys. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's, that's about it for now. Seems like yesterday you freestyled in the cafeteria. Tell me how I haven't know this ain't the place to ask. When she said that shit, I had a flashback back to the past, man. And after I finally had some success at Undefeated, I went ahead, ran around a little bit more. At this point, the event was winding down. I still didn't have any of the Air Forces in my hands. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was kind of pissed off because I came in and I had an idea. And both days that I came in and thought I knew what was going on, the event took a completely different turn. And I ended up not getting a lot of the things that I was trying to get. The lines are just so 
crazy in there. My only real complaint with the whole event was it, it was somewhat disorganized, but at the same time, I just feel like it was so many people and such hype product in there that it was just hard to just rally and keep everyone in the right place. As soon as I seen people like getting shoes and people started getting riled up and all that money that's in the building because a lot of these shoes dropping are reselling for Guapingtons. So when you have things like that, when you have money on the line and people saying, hey, I'm a pre-order to this or this guy paid me for that, they're gonna be out there and they're gonna be ruthless to make sure that they can fulfill that order or get that shoe and flip it. So I wasn't really mad at that. I just know how people are. And in the end, your boy walked away with no forces, no forces at all. So to end off my day, I went back to the Shopify row. It was like 10 shops that Shopify had out there featuring once again, hometown heroes, Commonwealth. You had Pleasures, you had Places Plus Faces. I didn't get anything from Places Plus Faces, but I did grab some stuff from Pleasures as well as Commonwealth. I should have really grabbed the LA TV because I know there's a new shop opening up in LA and they had a Virginia Star Trek pin. So there's a, bruh, again, every, time this man this red bone meme every time anyways i ran through the shopify row for the last time and then i dipped out of there once again all in all i had a great time i'm definitely looking forward to next year and i'm looking forward to trying to see if i can finesse my way to the pairs that i really want next year so with the story in the day out of the way let me go ahead and talk about some of the pickups i got real quick rapid fire and now we'll be making a full complex con pickups video including you know this shirt that you're seeing right here First up, shouts out to the homies at Shopify. They did throw your boy a little, a little swag bag, a little swag grab down in here. Threw in a three heart pin right there. An actual chip and swipe reader, which will definitely come in handy at SneakerCon for sure. And then last up in the bag, they did go ahead and throw me a T, which is right in this package. So I appreciate it. Now, next up, right here, we got some stuff from Bodega. Now, they did drop a one of 100 Nike Air Moab at the event, and your boy was lucky enough to walk away with a pair. Now, they did come with this ACG hat. Obviously, you guys can see the patterns, the ACG on the front, the back of the hat right here. Now, this does, of course, match the shoes. You can see right there, Air Moab by Bodega on the front. And then if we go ahead and check out the actual shoes and they are numbered one through 100, I picked up the ACG, the Pendleton joint. This is the Moab that they dropped. Now I know some dropped at Compass Con and some dropped Bodega store. And then you guys can see zero of 85 right there on the side. And that is where they're all numbered at. So shouts out to Fabiano, shouts out to Matt, shouts out to everybody at the Bodega booth. Appreciate it. So I was able to come away with this pair and the hat to match. And in addition to the shoe drop, they also had a couple things from, I assume, the web shop out there. So first off, I got this t-shirt right here. Now it is a long sleeve. It's like that washed out enzyme dye. Just says Bodega on the front and it has it all embroidered. It has like this weird tie dye swirl thing on the front and then on the back. Y'all see the graphic Bodega Vision. Now on Blu-ray and DVD with 4K HD in 2020. Rented display, another T, long sleeve. Thought this would be good, something cozy, something to wear around. And I'm really liking the enzyme washed out dye tees and I just fuck with bodega So I picked up that colorway and then they had like this washed out orange colorway as well Exact same thing pick this one up both and well actually I got this one in an XL I had to get this one in a double X because they actually sold out of the XL So got both of these two quick t-shirt pickups and I think that is everything from bodega Next bag we got is from Adidas y'all see expo 2017 very rare on the back and shouts out to all the brands that had tote bags because trust me these were extremely useful out there so we got a couple pickups from them first off being the adidas boost ball i finally got one of these shouts out to the homie that checked me out pretty sure a lot of y'all have already seen these things but i finally got one for myself first up for the pickups i got this y3 uniform hoodie nothing on the front everything on the back and then i had two more t-shirts another y3 pickup right here let me just go ahead and break this joint right out of the bag once again i got the y3 uniform t-shirt and i got it in black as you guys can see here i mean i guess you guys could have just gone ahead and guessed it if i got the hoodie i got the black t-shirt why not why not might as well go ahead and go all the way and get the white t-shirt as well so i picked up all 
the wide through uniform stuff just because I wasn't really sure if it was online. I just seen it on IG and shit and I was like, oh, it's pretty tough. It was there for retail, so why not? Now, although I did not walk away with the undefeated 97, which I didn't think was as good as the pair that I got, but I should have tried to get it because I probably could have gotten it. I did pick up some of the bags. So you have the all over orange undefeated orange on the back and then you have that green on the zippers and everything so i don't have this color clout pack yet so this was a good addition and then next up i got the all over green undefeated one so i picked up the green undefeated and the orange undefeated bag i don't think i have either of these colors i mean you have the bape and green but this one was just a flat green all over orange so why not then i also picked up two pairs of socks Basically, I picked up everything that I wanted because I was not able to grab the shoes. But yeah, I have these socks. I have the other socks, Play Dirty, Nike, Undefeated. I mean, they're killing it right now. Next pickup is from a brand that some of y'all may have never heard of before. I have, I just never copped anything from them. And once again, I got another cloud pack and this is from a brand called Daily Paper. I just really fuck with the actual design of the bag just the way that they did it the different colors on the straps and everything so i went ahead and picked this one up and it was only about 45 bucks which was pretty cheap for a clout pack depending on what brand you're getting them from i mean for 45 i thought that was a steal i definitely think that they could probably charge for more for this and still sell it but i got it for 45 which was dope y'all see all the straps and everything on it so this was just a little bit something different a little bit different take on the clout pack and the last bag that we have unfortunately some of the stuff that i was trying to get like the black 60 centimeter flower they did not have um this is all of the compass commer commie stuff that is inside this bag so I, all i have right now i did have the pen i do have the graduation pen that is on my bait hat that is somewhere around here but i picked up a t-shirt and then i picked up the towel now the t-shirt very 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 simple just have the murakami flower on the top and it says long beach once again this is something that i'm pretty sure a lot of people had a chance to pick up and they indeed did pick up it says complex con on the back november 4th through 5th long beach california so this is just something to remember the event by and then the last pickup of the whole 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 event is the towel i picked up the towel because they did not have the flower that I wanted, but I also felt like this would look good in my room somewhere. So, bam, y'all see it. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch out like that. I hope you guys can see all of that. It says compass column bottom. Now this is a towel, but you guys know I can put towels around. Um, I got another towel that I haven't showed you guys, but I like to put these around my room instead of a poster. These look good as well. So this will be in my room somewhere at some point. It looks very happy. This was basically, this face right here, look how happy it is, was the exact opposite of how I looked at that Nike booth. And that is a wrap. Complex Con 2017 is done. All I gotta do now is do a, a deeper, better in-depth video on all the pickups. But I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys can find me on instagram twitter soundcloud snapchat the snapchat is bull.c by the way here there by the way bull rc <laughs> and i will see y'all on the next one if you enjoyed go ahead slap that motherfucking like button i will see y'all next one peace